Hi guys, we're going to look at adding features onto our finished chopstick stand. You should by now have the outline, you should have extruded it, rounded the edges and applied the holes for your chopsticks to go into it. If you haven't done that yet, please do it now before you move on to adding the features. Make sure you've got an extra save file of your uh, design so that you can do your evidence on your PowerPoint as we go. A lot of what you'll see here we've covered briefly already. I was going to say this is design video 4, so it will be the fourth lesson with the features added on. And we're going to rotate and make sure I've zoomed into this face here because that's where I'm going to add the features. So this flat face here is where I'll be drawing. Okay, so I'm going to start a 2D sketch on it. I want to draw him a couple of eyes. Now you'll notice that it's a whole shape, so it's gone green. Okay, I want to zoom in a bit, and you can see on the side, if you have a play around with all the zoom tools, you can go in and out, and you can use the hand tool to drag and move your work around. You'll probably find it easier when you're adding features to make sure you've zoomed into the part you're playing around on. There we go, so I can see his face. I'm going to use the spline tool to draw a funky looking mouth. Now again, you'll see it starts off black. What you want is to make a whole shape. You want it to be green. And you don't want any extra bits like this hanging off. You want to trim all of the extra parts like that. Okay, so you should just have solid shapes. I'm going to draw something random on his belly because I want to show you the rotate and copy tool. So I'm going to start by drawing a circle in the middle because I need something to rotate around. draw a random shape with the spline tool from here and again we want solid shapes we don't want just lines so we'll finish that shape and we're going to revolve it round and round so we rotate it round and round the middle you want to go to the rotate button up at the top here and we're going to rotate it around the center of circle so center point select click the center of the circle yes we're going to rotate it around that thank you very much now you'll see in black it shows you where it is it gives you an idea of where it's going to end up so you can change the angle that it's rotated until it's in the place you feel like having it now you need to click the copy tab on the right of that otherwise it will just replace it and move it, it won't copy it. So we'll apply that and we're going to do that lots more times until it's all the way around the outside. So select the one we've just done, select the centre point, 45 I had it at, so I'll do that again so it's nice and even and keep going and keep going until it's all the way around. Okay, so shortly we're going to look at extruding or removing material from each of these bits that we've drawn. I'm going to have to turn this into one solid shape first rather than having lots and lots of drawings. Nearly finished. Okay, there we go. So now this windmill looking thing here, we're going to zoom into that 
and cut out or trim sorry the bits we don't want from the middle Okay, so zoom in a bit more, we can now see where we're going to trim, hopefully. So these joins here are the ones we want to get rid of, to make it one solid shape. Okay. All right, so finish sketch and same as we did before, we'll select bits and extrude or remove the detail. So you can see I've selected this 10 millimeters as a whole centimeter. We don't want that. That will be really, really big. Okay, so that would be cutting material away and it shows the hole for the chopstick and we don't want to see the hole for the chopstick so what we'll do is we'll add material instead so you can see it sticks out slightly instead of sticking inside Now at the moment you can't see any face features on here because I haven't extruded or removed material on them. So you'll have to go back and do that. Okay. Right, make sure you've saved your finished file for me please guys and evidence it on your PowerPoint.